phishing attacks are still one of the major attack vectors against journalists. A new kid on the block is OAuth phishing. Very stealthy and very dangerous. And this is because it's not like you enter your username and password into a fake login page, you enter it into a real login page. We show you how it works. OAuth as technology is not a bad thing per se. It allows you to share limited information from your online account with another website or app without having to give away your username and password. Before there were things like OAuth, there was no other way than to provide your login details which the app would store for you, possibly unencrypted. Let's say you want to use a third-party email client to access your Gmail emails. Instead of entering your username and password into this app, you would instead log into Google and Google will then hand over a temporary access token to be given to this app. Most of this happens in the background, so you may not even be aware of what's happening. So where's the problem? So you check the login page, you check the URL, you checked everything and it was actually everything right that you did. But the mistake that you made or the mistake that attackers tricked you into making comes after the login via grant access to your account details or whatever. In 2019, Amnesty International reported such attacks on Google and Outlook users. In even more advanced attacks, attackers abuse legitimate apps that want access to your, for example, emails. Can you defend yourself against such an attack? So if attackers use legitimate apps and all us phishing on you, then it is pretty difficult to defend yourself against this. So what you do whenever something wants access to, for example, your Google account. So the first thing that I would recommend you checking is to check, uh, is that really um, the entity that I'm expecting it? Is that really a legitimate app that wants access to my account? And the second thing, uh, what kind of information does this app or this entity want access to? And then to think yourself or to ask yourself, oh, is that really something that I want? Or is that something that I'm expecting? or if you are better off not doing it.